and welcome to LSTV. First of all, congratulations on making it to the University of Leeds. I'm sure you're going to have an absolutely cracking time. If you want to get involved at LSTV or find out what we usually do in Freshers' Week, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to find out more. And welcome back to Sidelines World Cup coverage here at LSTV. It's still the first day of the World Cup and there is much to discuss. We are here from Volgograd Stadium <laughs> in Volgograd, would you believe it? Here at LSTV, we thought we'd ask the people of Leeds, who are they backing to win? Who do you think is going to win this year's World Cup? Brazil. I hope England win it. Just from past years, I guess we'll probably lose. A great start to England's campaign. You're not wrong, Neve, not at all. We were quick out the blocks and really, really good value for the one they'll lead. The VAR system was always going to be extremely controversial. Um, there's been a lot of talk over the years about whether it was going to be introduced and it now has been. And it's really come to the forefront of the World Cup today. So there we are, round one of the World Cup is complete with highs and lows for teams that we didn't quite expect. And round two has just started. Stay tuned to our Facebook page. We'll be back very soon for more World Cup action here at Sideline. on Leeds Student Radio. Hello and welcome back to LSR's Varsity coverage live from Emerald Headingley Stadium in Leeds. I'm joined alongside me now by LSTV's two commentators for your live stream tonight, Matt and Joe. Uh, that's going out live in Old Bar Terrace and on YouTube, I believe. Hello and welcome to the Headingley Carnegie Stadium in what can only be described as the biggest event in the university sporting calendar. And here we go, it's the place everyone wants to be. This is Leeds Varsity, the rugby union finale 2018. Leeds Beckett with the kick to start us off. It's not clicking for them, maybe it's a joke, but here we go. Here we go, this is it. He to use the university with a chance and it's going to be a try. That ball forward just about meters away from the try line. Still back to Okafor. Had such an influential, well, influential part in that first half. But now Leeds Beckett maintaining the charge. It's out the wide and it's one on one. And it looks like it's going to be another. It's Leeds Beckett now with the head and feed into the scrub. And there it is. That's the game. Leeds University against Leeds Beckett. It's been a fantastic game to watch, it really has. Jeremy Colvin, welcome to the University of Leeds. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Pleasure to be here. Um, so the last time you were in Leeds uh, and had sort of spoke to students, uh, I believe it was during the 2017 general election campaign, you stood outside the Brudenell Social Club, stood up with Alex Sobel on a box and said vote for this man. Um, Alex, and he won. That's the thing, he wasn't expected to win that seat, he ended up winning by I think about 3,000 votes. Uh, do you think that day uh, may have had an impact on his victory? Probably, because we've got so many people there who are really enthusiastic about the idea that we could win, that we could get Alex elected and we could get a Labour government. And that was one of the turning points in the campaign, because that meeting was supposed to be a couple of hundred people getting ready to go door knocking, and then it grew to four or five hundred in the car park, and then it grew to thousands in the streets. I was actually genuinely concerned for the safety of some of the students who were hanging off trees. <laughs> The branches were strong, it turned out, and they were okay, but I was worried. I'm Nick, this is Joe, and you're watching LSTV. Before I begin, you're saying I'm nervous, but then you'll come up, come up to like going through that door or walking through the crowd as most venues are. And like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you get nervous. Yeah. So, if you want, if you want a good night out, or if you just want some good music to listen to, either come down to Stylus 
The doors are open now. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us on this live show. Stay tuned, go to YouTube and watch it. It's going to be awesome. We've got four local artists who will all be performing for you on this very stage. So how does that sound? Are you excited? I'm excited. I hope you at home are excited. This is Loud and Clear. Do you reckon you'll start a band now? Um, maybe. What do you name it? Um, the Famous Four. Do you have three other people to be in the band or is it all you? Here, here are the Famous Four. Who knew? Enjoying yourself, make sure you get involved on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, find us at Lee Student Television. Hello, and welcome to LSTV. Today, we're doing a live show. Children in need. Yeah, but before we get into the show, let's give you a reminder of how to donate. To donate to BBC Children in Need, text LSTV58 followed by the amount you want to donate to 70070. Alternatively, head to justgiving.com slash LSTVPudsy. Text will cost the amount you choose to donate plus your standard text message rate. You must be 16 or over to donate and please ask the bill payers' permission. rewarding part of being part of LSTV as a station manager? I think there's kind of like two halves of it so some of the best friends I've made have been here um, and then as well seeing like new people come in and see them go from never seeing a camera before to making something that goes on to win an award or get them a job or just yeah. do something that they're really really proud of. Hello, I'm Ethan and welcome to Your Essential 60. Two students at Warwick University who were previously banned for 10 years for threatening to rape fellow students in a group chat will be allowed to return to uni in September. One woman who was targeted said she felt terrified at the prospect of having these boys in her seminars. Students at Leeds University can now collect sanitary products for free in toilets throughout the union. Tampons and pads are now available in vending style machines to avoid this previous abuse of the service. They will be restocked throughout the day to ensure they are always available. Beyonce is giving her fans a chance to win a lifetime supply of concert tickets. All you have to do to enter the competition is commit to eating more plant-based meals. The prize is only for one fan and valid for 30 years to see her and Jay-Z. And finally, remember that Harry Styles face tattoo? Well, the singer who got the tattoo has revealed it is actually fake and part of a stunt to promote an upcoming single about the former One Direction singer. And that's all we've got time for this week, but make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter for more from LSTV.